called Shalawam. We're the brothers from the SF Barrier Camp, you know, just linking up in the spirit of how about Shemal Shah, you know, on our way to the battlefield to do the work, you know, in transit lesson we're doing, you know. First of all, we want to start off by giving all praises and glory to yeah. Yahweh wow. by Hashem, yeah. Yahweh Shai, wow. by Hashem Rekal Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Akim out there that's preaching this word in Caesarean and in truth. And, you know, we just going to roll in the spirit because over here in California, you got these wildfires that are out of control, you know. And then, and then spring and forth, uh, back to back, you know. Burning up, uh, I think one of Esau's town called Paradise got burnt up, you know. Yeah. So that's the Lord showing you that he's bringing your uh, your kingdom down, uh, plague by plague, you know. This, um, I got a precept. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And you have all those things going on in the world. All right, the storms, earthquakes. Lightning, all these different things is going on, especially the fire right now out here in, in um, California, you know. And it's the areas that it's hitting is predominantly the areas where Esau is. You know, these rich Edomite areas where they got all their houses where celebrities living. You know, that's it's, it's judgment from the Lord, really. Because this is not, it's this this isn't even happening where it's like super hot in the summertime. This is happening where things are supposed to be switching and getting colder now. And you still got all these fires breaking up. So this is a direct hit from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Yeah, I got a precept. It's uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And we, we measure in the times now, basing it off of the, off the scriptures. Like we're bringing out the, the, the plagues that the Lord is going to bring upon the world. That's that's part of us measuring the times. You're watching the news to see the prophecies coming to pass. All those things are measuring the times, man. Linking up what's going on in the world with the scriptures. That's how you that's how you measure the time. You measure it through the scriptures, man. And we see that we're in a time where the Lord is about to come and we, where he is visiting this place with judgment. Before he says back, Yahweh Shai with the angels. Yep. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were, that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, that, just like the scriptures say, that he declared it from the beginning. So we know that, we know what's going on because the Lord already told us these things. He revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So he already revealed it unto us what's going to happen before it has happened. So it's not a surprise to us when things like this happen. You got the wildfire, you got all these fires breaking out, and it's still going at this very second. People dying in the fires. A lot, everybody can't. It's a lot of people that can't find family members. Yeah. It's just nothing but this is complete hell. Yep, upwards of the people all over the world, let alone here in Babylon, all these so called protests. Okay, these marches, all right. You know, and what's going on over there in the, in the Middle East? Just like it says in Proverbs, what the, I believe the 20, uh, 29th chapter, the second verse. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's mourning. Okay, the earth is mourning. All right. Because, because the wicked is in rulership and because this place is not being governed the way that it was properly set up to be. And really because the righteous not, are not in authority, man. Starting with starting with uh, Yahweh Shai, you know? Yep. Yep. Uh, last verse, you know, I was, uh, verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, the end is made, uh, the end is manifest. And we, the end is being made manifest by what's going on now. Because we're we measuring it from what's going on in the scriptures. Yeah. All right, all the things that's written in the scriptures that's supposed to come to pass in the last days is happening. All right, Esau is supposed to be a rulership because he, he Esau is the end of the world. So we're in the last days, man. All right, the market of beasts is out there. Got already it's been pushed out there. It's being pushed even more. World War Three is closer than ever. All right, famine is getting closer here. Yeah. Homelessness is increasing. The upwards of the people. People are getting fed up with this society in general. All these things that the Lord talked about is coming to pass. Uh, uh, people that rampage spirit, like the elder brother Yahweh call uh, yeah. speaks on, that's increasing. People are shooting places up, killing themselves. All right, blowing, blowing shit up, attempting to. You know, and mostly uh, uh, you Edomites, man. Yeah. You're being, you're being found to be, to be the devil.
devil that you are, the terrorist, the, the junkie, the drug addict, all right, the, 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 uh, 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 all the negative things. The, yeah, all that, all that negative shit that you try to push on Jake and pretty much everybody other than yourself. Yeah. You know, yeah, the whole world can see, the whole world can see that you, you're the problem of the earth. You know, you're the cancer of the earth. And that's why the scriptures say it describes the plagues that are coming on America as a woman in travail. As, as if she's giving birth, you know? Because them birth pains is, is your society going down, you know? Be it, a, be it a famine, you know? Be it like these, these wildfires. Like we on, we on our way to the um to the um city, San Francisco right now. We can barely see out here. It's so damn smoky out here, you know? That's part of the plagues the Lord is, is, is putting on you Edomites, you know, your society, you know? And it's only going to get worse. Don't think, don't expect things to get better. Your, your society is going down, you know? And they, and with the, speaking on the fires and stuff, early, I remember earlier this year before it was fire season again, they were talking about last year how they still are trying to pay off all the money that you have to, you know, because it costs with all the natural damages. disasters, yeah, yeah. the damages. Yeah. So they still, they didn't even have enough for the damages that happened last year, so... How much more now? It's put even pushing even more debt because they can't afford to pay for all the damages being done. People losing their houses, your your insurance doesn't cover it. People had to, people setting up a GoFundMe page, yeah, trying to bounce back. Through and it's mainly like the brother was saying, it's mainly hitting you eating mics, you know. Yeah. Was it was that it? You was done on that? Yeah, yeah, I was done on that. Yeah, I got a precept. It's uh, Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. Verse 37 says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month uh, bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth. You know, all these things that's coming to pass is not slack. It's, it's only increasing more and more. Just like it's going into a woman with birth, it starts off as pains here and there, but then those pains increases like the uh, the, the, um, the, the, spirit, um, the time sp period between the, the pains, uh -huh. it starts to be shortened. Just like with it's more and more stuff going on every week. It's a mass shooting massacre. Esau going somewhere shooting stuff up. All right, homelessness is increasing. Just everything is just getting worse and worse. Yep. Like like um like the Lord say in um, Saint Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. These are only the beginnings of sorrows, man. Yep. You know, building up to that ultimate birth pain, man. I mean that ultimate uh, uh, uh the ultimate birth. Yep. Which is really the the, the ultimate the destruction. Yeah, the destruction. Place. Yeah. When the baby comes out, that's the representation of the uh, the missiles. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Yeah, and you're feeling all these pains, all right, economically, okay? You're, you're, you're feeling the hardships mm -hmm. was, was building up. The plagues that's coming here, all right? People are, are, are dropping dead of, of overdoses, of sickness, okay? And really, you're putting each other to death, you know? It says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. And the world is mourning. Yep. Everybody in the world is mourning. Nobody's happy living here in America. They're, everybody's coming to the conclusion that living here is hell. Mm -hmm. Just like the um, the other scripture, I forget if it's in Habakkuk, or it's, uh, uh, where it says the outlook on life basically being darkened. Okay. When you look out the, that window, it's dark. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Because they're, they're, everybody, their outlook on life in general is like they're hopeless now. Because at one point they, they thought they had a chance of that so called American dream, having the house that you wanted, a family, this and that. But now you, you just, you're just catching up to the hell. One job isn't enough to cover anything. All right. It's all type of, all type of, uh, it just, all type of stuff going on. Homelessness is increasing. All right. It's just nothing but hell coming to America. Everything's done here, man. Yep. Every, every time they have a, elections come around, what they what do they always talk about? Trying to make it make it better, but there's no making it better. It's only going to get worse. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ain't no making it better. It's only going to get worse. You know, it's only going to increase. The only thing that's getting better is the Heavenly Father's elect. You know, the Heavenly Father's elect is being sealed through the four corners of the earth. So righteousness is is, is being reawoken. You know, righteousness is being established. You know, through through the through the body of Yahweh Shai, and, and through the us. Awakening your society is going down because that goes back to my I think I just get it Revelations when he when he told the angels don't hurt the earth nor the sea yeah. This is revelations yeah. 
like the apostles always said, the the leg more than likely got to be sealed already because now you see all this hell is increasing in the world. Yep. Like everything is just going crazy. It hasn't it hasn't been like this before. Because really, all the elect have to do is hear this word, and then the Lord the Lord yep. uh, uh, them. opens up their spirit. You know, because really, he's drawing drawing out the word that that's, that's already been sold in their spirit. Hey, Amen. Because a lot of the prophets are subject to the prophets. All right. You know, because the elect been sealed for the foundation, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so 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 really, and this word has went out throughout the four corners of the earth, uh, 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 through to this this unicorn. Okay, this internet started with our apostle and elders and great millstone on, on on down, man. Okay, so really, this word has has been heard throughout the four corners of the earth. There's camps all over the world. You know, so that would have to make sense that the elect would uh, 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 would have to already heard it. You know. All right, and cleaved and, and cleaved unto it, yep. you know, and then the, the rest of this world have already heard it as well and got condemned by it. Yep. And then what? The judgment is is, is, is coming to pass now, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is Revelation chapter seven, verse one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, mm -hmm. that the wind should not blow on the earth. Yeah, you know, the winds. The winds uh, uh, represent uh, the destruction. I get the uh, the precept real fast in Jeremiah okay. to, to back that up, you know. Yeah, because the Heavenly Father has the angels working on the minds of the leaders, you know, to to for this to get this destruction started. So he's having the angels hold it back until it's elected seal, you know. Yeah, this uh, Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against ba uh, Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them. That are that rise up against me a destroying wind, and will send upon Babylon fanners that shall fan her, and shall enter her land for the day of trouble, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that wind is in representation of the uh, the destruction, the missiles, you know. So it says back in Revelation seven and one, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Mm -hmm. And the trees are in representation of the people, you know. Yeah. And the seas, and the seas too, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says so pretty much that the angels, the Lord is telling the angels, don't hurt anybody until what? It says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth. Neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Yep, yep. Nope. This, this, oh God, a lot. No, you got it. I was going to say, just like during the time uh, of um, our forefather Abraham and, and Lot, excuse me, when uh, the time of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, in which the scriptures referred uh, to the time of Lot in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, and this place being spiritually of uh, Sodom and Lot, you know, because it's, it's, uh, it's pretty much an allegory. All right, you know, he tells you in um, Second Peter the third chapter that the Lord is going to destroy this place by fire uh, 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 and not water, like uh -huh. during the time of Noah. Yeah. Okay, so so what during during that time, you know, Abraham was um, um was pretty much pleading with the heavenly Father, saying, you know, if there was one righteous soul, pretty much he worked the number all the way down to one, you know, keeping keeping um um, um lot in mind, you know. So what? Once Lot left out the city as he was commanded to do and not look back, okay, uh, uh, that destruction took place. Yep. All right. C in comparison to, to now with the elect uh, being sealed uh -huh. and that destruction uh, 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 coming to pass, you know, and, and taking place, man. Uh -huh. I, got, I got a precept yeah. on what, what the seal is. It's uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High stand of stand sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are His, and let everyone that nameth the name of Hamashiach depart from iniquity. That's right. That's why that name is is, is very important, because that name carries a, a vibration of spirit, man. And that name is a, is, a, is a safe tower. It's a strong tower. All right, you know. And that's why that's why from our apostle and elders, a great millstone on down, we we, we stand we stand uh, firm. Upon that name, and we and we uh, 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 we proclaim the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, um. <clears throat> can you can you bring that out one more time, Brother Shai? Yeah, this is Second uh, Timothy two and nineteen. Yeah. 
Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of a Mashiach depart from iniquity. That's right, man. Okay. And we, we have uh, departed from iniquity, like it says in Micah 2 and 10. You know, depart spiritually. Depart from the ways of this world. Depart from the ways of Babylon, man. Because the ways of Babylon are being pressed out upon this world, man. You know? Like Romans, uh, Romans uh, the 12th chapter, says, Be not conformed to this world. Yep. Because so you're supposed to, you know, um, because you, you, you basically transform. You become a new man in the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you depart from that iniquity, you become a new man. You depart from your old ways, and you're in a new way now. Which is the righteous way, the right the way of life. Uh -huh. Become pretty much born again, you know. Yeah. Pretty much, you put off the, all the ways that you once were in the world, and you become a new a new man, you know, in the spirit. Yeah. Uh, this is I got a precept on the name. This is a Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe, and is safe. So the name of the Lord is something very important. That's what's going to keep you safe. That's what that's part of what's going to keep you stable, along with the doctrine and knowing knowing the doctrine and the truth. It's calling upon the name because if you when you when all hell breaks loose in the time of Jacob's trouble and you want to run, what are you going to call upon? You're going to call upon a specific name, and if you're not calling upon the right name, the Lord ain't going to save you, man. Calling upon these other names that's out there, Yahushua, uh, Jesus, all these other names that's out there that's not the real name, the Lord isn't going to deliver you. And, and like the scriptures say, you know, not everybody that says Lord, Lord shall be heard or saved, man. Yeah. Because really, it's more than just saying the name. Because these other guys, Nate, they, they, they know the names, you know. These false prophets, yet they they don't they don't um uh, um they're not going to push it out, or they're not going to do the will, you know. Because the Lord, the Lord said, you are my friend if you do everything that I tell you to do. Because more than just, just, oh, yeah, man, I believe. You got to put, you got to put action behind that, man. Because faith without works is dead, you know. You have to, you have to put, put, uh, put it, put it in the work. Like, as you commit it, hit the highways and edges, proclaim his name, condemn this, condemn this uh, society, curse out two-thirds, all right, you know. Do, do the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 91 verse 1 He that dwelleth in a secret place to the most high Shall abide under the shadow of the almighty yep. I will, yep. yeah, yeah. It says I will say the Lord He is my refuge and my fortress My power And him will I trust Yeah and that's what we put our, our trust and faith into man Alright You know Yahweh Yahweh Shai Not into man Okay Not into this society Not into Esau all right, you know, we're uh, uh, not, not, not ourselves, you know. It says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Yeah, we have trust and in, 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 in faith and hope in that. We expect that, all right, you know, because what? Uh, uh, if we do everything that the Heavenly Father uh, uh, has commanded us, okay, to the best of our ability, and maintain the faith, the faith in the fight to the very end. We expect for the Heavenly Father to to to, uh, to save us, man. You know, because the Most High is not a man that he should lie. So if we keep up our end of the bargain, the Most High is damn sure going to keep up his, man. He's not unrighteous. He's not unjust to forget our, our works and uh, 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 and labor of love that we that we do minister, man. Not quoting verbatim. It's in Hebrews, all right. You know. So if we do our part. And the Most High is definitely going to do His, and He is. That's what we're talking about. The Heavenly Father bringing forth the judgment, and, and what He, and, and which He already, uh, 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 He already written this, man. You know, he, and He prophesied to His prophets to, to come to pass, and it's manifested. So the Most High is keeping up on His end of the bargain. You know, it says He shall cover thee with His feathers, mm -hmm. and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah, that's right, man. Going to Isaiah 33 and 6, man. Now his wisdom will be the stability of our times and it's keeping us st uh, stable, understanding what's going on, you know? Because because we we have, the Most High gave us uh, 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 the cheat codes, the secrets, like the brother referred to earlier, Amos 3 and 7. He revealed unto us the secrets, so we know we know the end, uh, the end all be all this whole story, man. Yeah. You know? This is all good news to us, man. Yeah. You know, cause we, we have nothing but. But uh, better promises to 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 uh, 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 
to look forward to, man. This place being destroyed in the beginning of, of Jacob's world, man. Yep. You know? The scriptures say, when you see all these things come to pass, yep. lift up your head because your rede your redemption draw off not, you know? So as we see the downfall of America, we rejoice because we know that we that much closer to righteousness being established on the earth. The kingdom of heaven, you know, everlasting life, peace, you know? It's um, Psalms 91 and 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. Yeah, and, and the Lord, the Lord is uh, covering us, man. Okay, you know it says the, the angels encamp up around them that fear of the heavenly Father. So the Lord actually, actually uh, uh, covers us. Cause we're covered, we're, we're covered um, um, in His spirit. We're not covered in the spirit of this world, you know. So the Lord actually has so-called guardian angels around around us, protecting us, man. Okay, and then leading up to what? Ultimately, to, to the. Uh, uh, um, the chariots, man. You know, being delivered. We're talking about from the ultimate uh, destruction and plague. You know, these thermonuclear missiles coming, man. You know, yeah, how was Shai returning with the uh, the angels in the um, in the innumerable uh, amount of chariots, man? You know, which the angels are going to be in, all right, and, and really delivering the elect. It says the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. Okay, simultaneously. Right when the missiles are about to uh, 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 hit ground zero over here in America, man. 200 million missiles, you know? All right? And Lord's will, we be covered by the uh, by the blood of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. Okay? It said, His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Yeah, we're not going to be afraid because we, we know the Lord's on our side. Yeah. Because yep. it comes with that confidence Because we have faith in the Lord Our expectation is to be delivered Because we're doing a, We holding up on our part So why would the Lord not hold up on his end? And that's what this whole society is about You know, the spiritual demon Satan And his physical counterpart Our Esau Casting out Putting the spirit on these people Even two thirds of our own people Casting that demon of doubt yeah. Our Lord is not His Lord is not dealing with me Our Lord is not going to save me You know that's why it's, it, you have to be faithful. Hey, man, you have to uh, strive for the truth unto death, man. Be faithful unto death, man. Firmly rooted. Yeah. Regardless, have that mentality and that, and that spirit and that confidence, which means with faith. It's like it's like uh, the, the other brother you call it, say, it's death or deliverance. Yeah. Have that type of mentality. Either you're going to do the work until death or do the work until deliverance. Mm -hmm. It says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Yep, all these plagues that we were talking about. Okay. You know what I mean? These diseases. All right. All this stuff that's about to be unleashed out here, man, leading up to what? The thermonuclear destruction, man. Yep. It says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Yeah, Jake's gonna actually see that, man. All right, you know certain brothers are gonna uh, be martyrs, or they're already gonna be in the chariots. Okay, you know, and then brothers that that are uh, uh, still gonna be here when the missiles are being shot off, man. The Lord is gonna beam them up, and you're just gonna see a wave of just just fire and dead bodies, man. <coughs> be even being in, in the chariots, you know. <coughs> All right, we actually Lord's will. We be we be uh, uh, those men. We be the elect man. Gonna be looking down in the chariots, seeing this whole place consumed. Like the scriptures say, only with thine eyes so you should see the uh, reward of the wicked. And we're seeing the reward of the wicked, man. That's the that's the that's that's one of the ultimate punishments right there. Actually seeing these people in this place consumed. You know, like we've been prophesying about, man. Like the Lord, the Lord been prophesying really to 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 his prophets. Mm -hmm. You know. It says, only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And we seeing it with our yeah, eyes right spirit. now. That's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we, see it. we literally seeing it. Yeah. Just like the scripture say in the Apocrypha, there's no better thing than to see the downfall of your enemies. We're, we're seeing the reward of the wicked right now, man. He saw, he's, all these other, he's getting exposed left and right. His, his country is going down. All, like we, we're literally seeing America fall apart. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, um, if Jake had more on it. Yeah, I can continue. It says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. 
to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stones. Yeah, so the Lord will basically look out for us, because we, we gave up everything to come and follow the Lord. So the Lord's going to look out for us, man. Since we chose to, to, to go the narrow way, all right, just to, to follow Yah, Bashim Yahweh Shai, not go in the ways of the world, the ways that everybody else is going in, the Lord's going to keep us protected, man. That's why the scriptures say they're going to hunger and we're going we to eat. All right, because the Lord is going to be taking care of us when all this, all these, all the hell's breaking loose and everything else is happening, man. The Lord is going to be looking out for us. As long, all, all we got to do is keep our faith in the Lord and have, and actually have confidence that He's going to deliver us out of these things. It says, "Thou shalt tread upon a lion and an adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because He hath set His love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him." I will set him on high because he have known my name. Mm -hmm. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Yeah, the Lord's going to, he's going to deliver us from all the troubles and ultimately we're going to receive salvation for, for following after the Lord to the very end, man. Like you said, like you said earlier, strive for the truth of the death, man. We're going to, we're going to, it, it, in the balance of things, we're going to see the Lord's will. We we strive, we, we endure to the end. We're going to see the reward of the righteous. We're going to receive the reward of the righteous, mm -hmm. you know? You know, which is everlasting life, you know, yeah. that, and receiving that what? Heart of flesh, a new body, you know, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, you know, receiving power and glory and dominion over these other heathen nations, you know, land as far as the eye can see, all the women you could desire, you know, that's just uh, things, other uh, perks that we're going to receive. But the main thing is having that heart of flesh, you know, you know, being made righteous. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So that's going to keep us stable in those times. Us, we already, us knowing what's supposed to happen is going to keep us stable when all hell's breaking loose. Because all these people in the world, they don't they don't know what's going on. They don't they don't have a single clue what's going on, man. Yeah, they don't, they don't understand that the Heavenly Father is bringing all this to pass. All right? Because ultimately, these people don't have fear of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shem. You know? And that's the beginning of uh, the list of analogies, man. You know? Yeah, that was it on that. You had something? No. So, you know, we're, we're, we're wrapping up on that, you know? So, you know, just, we at the end of America's downfall is at hand, you know? America's going down. You know, the white man, so-called white man Esau, you're losing your power. You know, and Yahweh Shai is on his way to set up order on the earth, you know, and put you down, you know, put you in slavery, you know, and righteousness to be established on the earth forever, and the Heavenly Father's earth be restored back to his true glory, you know. So with that, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekon Kadash, double honors to the elder apostle, great millstone taught us this truth, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.